you need to create a digital calendar in Microsoft Outlook, you know, one that you and your office staff can access and edit from wherever you are, from whatever device you're using. In this training video, we are going to look at creating an Outlook calendar, sharing the calendar with another person, and the steps you need to take in order to access. We're gonna begin by creating the calendar on the web from the Microsoft 365 platform. Simply open your web browser and in the address bar type Microsoft365.com. Once you are signed into the portal from the left navigation, click Outlook, which will then launch the web application of Outlook. We're directly in our inbox from the navigation, click calendar. And here we are going to click add calendar. We're going to create a blank calendar. Simply click the link to create blank calendar. We're going to name the calendar. And if you want to give it a custom collar, please do so. And in this case, we're just going to want the calendar to be listed as a sub calendar under my calendars. So no changes. Click the save button. Close this window out and you'll notice right here. We do have this calendar now listed. From here, click the three dots and then click sharing and permissions. Simply type the name of the person you're wanting to share calendar with. And you can give them the ability to only view the details, but if you want to give them more permissions to make changes, click the drop down and click can edit. From here, all we have to do is click share. Now an inv email invitation will be sent to the person who you have simply listed here and will follow up with the steps that need to be taken once they receive that invitation. Okay, now we're at the next steps. From this standpoint, the invitation has been sent off, the recipient has received it, and the invitation is in their inbox. Now we use the web to create the calendar and send the invitation. We're gonna use the Outlook application to open the email. So we'll wanna click on the desktop application, Outlook app. Let's see here the email and attachment that was sent with the invitation. So we're gonna click the drop down. We will go to open and here simply from within the toolbar, click the more move actions and we're going to click view in browser and click okay. Next, this link within the button, accept and view calendar. We're going to click that. and we will more than likely need to refresh the browser in order for the calendar to be listed underneath my calendars. But it is actually shown under people's calendars. So if we make the arrangement just to view that, we can see we are accessing the Nashville calendar. Let's go back to the Outlook application, go to our calendar, verify that that calendar is there, and in the Outlook application, it'll be a, listed as a sub-calendar under shared calendars. Okay, so we are accessing the calendar. Let's go ahead, we'll create a new appointment, just make sure that it is working.
and we'll give it a time it's 10 o'clock it's currently 907 save and close whoops actually did that on the wrong calendar so let's move that we're solely in the Nashville calendar let's go new appointment time go 930 save and close okay we can see that it has applied to calendar and it should sync across all platforms as well yeah there we go very good well thanks for watching this training video on creating and sharing your outlook calendar have a great day